Let's come into tabletop pose on hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide. Keep your knees as wide as your hips. Tap on your back with your hand to make sure it's flat. And optionally, use a block or any other object that resembles a block and place it over your back for an additional balance challenge. On your next deep inhale, gaze forward. Extend your right arm. Extend your left leg back and hold for one or two breaths, squeezing your core muscles and your left glute. On your exhale, gently release on the other side. Inhale, extend. Hold for one or two breaths and gently release as you exhale. From your tabletop pose, stretch your left leg out to the side. Press your right palm to the center of the mat for balance. On your inhale, send your left hand all the way up to the sky for a twist. Exhale, tread your left hand under your right shoulder. Bring your forehead down and hold. You may want to walk your right hand to the top of the mat to deepen your twist. If you feel open in your shoulders, go ahead, wrap your right hand around your back. Make sure to keep your back flat. On your exhale, gently come up. This time, press your left hand to the center for balance. On your inhale, send your right arm all the way up. Exhale, come for twist on the opposite side. Keep your forehead on the ground and try any new arm variations. Stay present with your breath and notice any difference on this side of your back any new sensations. One or two breaths. And gently release as you exhale. Coming back into neutral, maybe wiggle out your hips to reset. Coming onto your knees for camel pose. On your inhale, circle your both arms all the way up and bring them behind your back. As you exhale, push your hips forward, puff up your chest to engage your upper back muscles. Squeezing your shoulder blades, gently drop your head back and hold for a breath or two. On your exhale, gently release, coming to tabletop position to reset. Wiggle out your hips. Second round, bring your hands behind your back. You may experiment with different arm variations. You can bring your hands behind your legs. See what works for you and Make sure to squeeze your glute muscles, your core muscles, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale gently, drop your head back. And release back into tabletop. Coming into your neutral tabletop pose, we're going to work the other side. On your inhale, step your right leg out to the side. Up palm. To the center of the mat for balance. On your inhale, send your right arm all the way up to the sky and hold. As you exhale, thread your right palm under your left shoulder and hold for one breath. You may want to try same arm variation to deepen your twist. Be sure your back is straight. Gently release. This time, press your right palm on the ground and lift your left arm as you inhale to come into twist on your exhale. Gently release. Coming back into tabletop to reset. Neutral tabletop pose, we're going to transition to ragdoll pose to a downward facing dog. Begin to walk your feet toward your hands. If you feel stagnation, shake off your legs, release any tension. Be sure to keep your knees slightly bent. And go ahead, hug your elbows, and begin to sway side to side, back and forward. 
letting the gravity to pull your upper torso down and spend here one or two breaths. From here, transitioning into standing forward fold, cow and cat. On your inhale, grab onto your shins, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, pull your chest to your knees. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend. Repeat two more times. Shake off your legs if you feel stagnation, any tension. And release, coming to downward facing dog. Walk your feet, adjust your dog. On your inhale, lean forward, coming to high plank. As you exhale, slowly lower down to your mat. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, lift your palm off the ground and gently release on your exhale. Maybe sway your feet side to side, taking a little rest. Second round, as you exhale, lift up into Cobra Pose. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your feet together. Try any arm variations. Maybe move your arms forward and back. Balasana, Child's Pose to reset. To end this practice, we're gonna come into comfortable seated position. Rest your both hands over your knees. And maybe sway side to side, releasing any last tension, feeling any new sensation in your body. Maybe circle your arms a few times, creating space for your meditation practice. And go ahead, draw your both palms to your heart in gratitude. Maybe set your intention for the day. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next exhale, we're gonna chant Om. Inhale through your nose. Draw your both hands to your third eye chakra in gratitude for taking your time to practice. Bow your head forward. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed this class. Please let me know if you want me to record any specific pose or yoga sequence. And until next time, namaste.